Welcome back folks to our weekly NeoVim plugin videos. In this video series, we are covering one NeoVim plugin per week. So this week we're gonna be covering NVim CMP. Uh, what does CMP stand for? Well, CMP stands for completion. NVim CMP is a completion plugin that helps you auto-complete code as you're typing it. So let's uh, dive into his video here and demonstrate what exactly it's doing. So you can see here that as they're typing the code, let me make that bigger, um, there's a, a little table that appears or a window that comes up that allows them to hit enter or tab to navigate through this window to complete the code for them. Now, uh, NVIM CMP is an interesting plugin because it allows you to configure different sources. Uh, and by sources, I mean, where are the, where is the content in this pop-up window coming from? It can be coming from words that are in your current buffer can be coming from the LSP. We're not going to be talking about LSP in this video, but it can also be coming from um, things like uh, your command line or uh, maybe snippets. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to install MVim CMP using Packer. And we're also going to configure it in such a way where we have sources coming in from your current buffer. So any words that you have typed will be shown in that autocomplete pop-up window and uh, also snippets. So snippets is uh, required for MVim CMP to work. You have to have at least one snippet engine configured. And we'll also configure the command line so that when you're in command mode in NeoVim, uh, as you're typing, it'll auto-complete the commands. So that'll be pretty nifty. Let's uh, go ahead and dive in. So here we are in my init.lua. And I like to keep all of my uh, plugin use directives in a file called plugins. So let's go ahead and use telescope here and go to a file called plugins. All right, cool, I'm here. I'm gonna shift G to go all the way down. And uh, you already see here that I've put in some use statements for MVim CMP. MVim CMP does require CMP buffer, CMP path, CMP command line, MVim CMP itself, uh, CMP vSnip. vSnip is the snippet engine that I'm gonna be using um, for this, um, for these configurations. But it can be any snippet engine. Um, friendly snippets, and these are snippets that have already been predefined uh, by the community, so I'm gonna go ahead and include those as well. All right, so save that, and uh, let's go into my plugin configs files. That's how I like to keep all of my plugin configurations. Now this file is a little large for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and code fold this using Z capital M. You can see now that everything is kind of code folded neatly into one line. Shift G to go all the way down. And I've already added a few few lines in here. Let's go, let's go over them, because this, these configurations are uh, can be a little, little complicated. All right, so CMP setup. That's the setup, the typical setup function that we'll call for configuring any plugin. And in here we have expand. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, MVM CMP requires that we specify at least one snippet engine. In this case, in the expand um, uh, configuration directive here, I'm giving it the snippet engine vSnip. Uh, this is what's required if you're using the vSnip engine, just like me. All right, and then we're giving it the window, what kind of, how the window will look, the pop-up window, and uh, the completion window will look bordered. I really like the bordered look and the documentation window will also be a, a bordered window. All right, and then the mappings for that window, control B to scroll, control F to scroll up, control space to complete it, and I'll show you what this looks like uh, a little later, control E to abort, and enter to confirm your selection. So that makes sense, it's pretty straightforward. All right, so next we're gonna talk about the sources. Uh, in our case, we're only using two sources here, but we're gonna be configuring more here in a little bit. Uh, the first one is vSnip. You can see here that this uh, definition looks a little funky. You have like a table within a table. Well, that's because this first table here is called a group. So you can specify multiple sources per group if you'd like, uh, but this is group one, and then here is group two, and MVim CMP uses these group these group orderings to kind of uh, 
prioritize where in the pop-up window uh, these sources, the, the words that are coming from these sources will appear. So the higher the order, the more they will appear towards the top. All right, and then there's uh, the command line configuration. The command line configuration is pretty basic. You just specify a mapping and uh, there's already a preset for it. So we're gonna say preset command line and then the sources. Uh, for the command line, we're gonna say sources buffer. Um, and then we're also giving it the slash and question mark arguments here as, as the first argument. And that'll just, uh, that'll map our slash and question mark characters to this function and also autocomplete um, any words in our buffer for us. So as we're searching, the autocomplete window will come up for us. All right, so let's go down here and uh, take a look at this other function that I've defined with command line, and that's colon. So colon, remember in Vim, puts you into command mode, command line mode. So in this case, uh, I'm specifying the preset here as a mapping, and the sources will be path and command line. These two sources are your file paths and uh, any available commands. So that means as you're in, you know, typing things in command line mode, the auto completion window will pop up and give you suggestions. Pretty cool. All right. Well, that um, that I think does it for all of our configurations. I'm going to go ahead and save that as well. Just make sure I have everything nicely saved here. Looks like I don't have my init.lua file saved. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to that using my buffer line plugin and save it. Cool. Okay, let's go back. And so now that we're here, let's show you what autocomplete or MVIM CMP looks like. Um, we'll just do it right here in init.lua. So as I'm typing, you can see here that there's an autocomplete window that pops up. Now this is really nifty. Remember we were talking about those sources in while we were configuring the plugin? The source is gonna appear here on the right. So this is telling us that this option that we can choose is coming from the snippet source, or in our case, vSnip and friendly snippets. Um, so all of these options are available for me to choose. So let's go ahead and just hit arrow key here. And uh, I'll choose date. So that, you know, Vim snippets will automatically put the date in there for me. One of our other sources was the buffer itself. So any, any, uh, words that are included in this buffer will be an option for us. So buff write post will be an option. So let's go ahead and type that. And you can see here it appears as an option and the source is text. And that means that it's coming from the buffer. All right. And uh, another thing that we looked at was search functionality. So type forward slash there to search. And as I'm typing, you can see here that the autocomplete window pops up and all of my options come up as well. And the source is text, which means it's coming from the buffer. Very cool. All right. So let's also look at command line mode. So I'm going to go into command line mode, hit colon there, and then type, uh, how about telescope? Telescope. There it is. Variable means that it's coming from some other source that uh, the command line source. Cool, so I can go ahead and hit telescope and it'll run telescope. Awesome. So that is MVIM CMP. It's a very nifty plugin that you can also pair very well with um, some other plugins. Next week, maybe we'll take a look a little more into snippets and how snippets work. Um, you can use it to autocomplete any functions or classes or things like that. It's a very nifty plugin. Um, but that'll conclude this video for this week. Thank you.